and welcome to another recipe video. Today we are going to actually make Mr. Willer's favourite sort of cake. We are going to make some carrot cupcakes. I hope you enjoy and you're able to bake along with me. Please send me a picture of anything you do manage to make and I hope you are keeping safe and well. For your carrot cupcakes you're going to need 125 millilitres of vegetable oil or sunflower oil, two large eggs, 250 grams of grated carrots. It's really important that you weigh them after you've peeled them and chopped the ends off. 125 grams of light brown sugar, 175 grams of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, which is this. We've then got some spices, so some ground ginger, some mixed spice and some cinnamon. And then for our icing, we're going to use some cream cheese, some icing sugar, and then you can decorate them however you'd like. But I'll go through the amounts for the icing afterwards. First, measure out your oil and eggs in a bowl and whisk together. The eggs will act as an emulsifier, so allow us to mix everything into the oil. Add in your carrots and sugar and mix again. Measure out your spices and add them to your mixture along with the flour and the bicarbonate of soda. Your mixture is now ready for you to put in your cupcake cases. I'm going to add 100 grams of raisins. You can also add some nuts at this time if you'd like to. You then need to portion your mixture into your cupcake cases. I have run out of cupcake cases and didn't realise, so I'm making mine as more of a tray bake. And we are ready to go into the oven. After 20 minutes, take your cupcakes or your tray bake out of the oven and leave to cool. To check if your carrot cake is cooked, put a knife into it and check it comes out clean. For the icing, mix together 150 grams of butter and 150 grams of icing sugar. When your butter and icing sugar is creamed to a smooth consistency, add 300 grams of cream cheese. Mix together until it's a smooth consistency and leave in the fridge until you're ready to use it. When your carrot cake is completely cool, you can add on the icing. You might want to spoon it into a piping bag and pipe some pretty patterns on top and then we are ready to decorate. I hope you enjoy making the carrot cake recipe and especially the icing, I think that part was delicious. Please let me know how you get on and if you make it for your family or anyone, I hope they enjoy it. Keep safe and I will see you soon.